now at 10. For the second time in as many days, suspicions of a new person impersonating an officer is sending a wave of concern and cross caution across the port city. Jasmine Williams is covering this story from our newsroom tonight. Jasmine, today's incident, it happened in broad daylight. Yeah, it did Derek. It happened near Government Street and Airport Boulevard. Police believe a possible impersonator may have attempted to pull someone over at a stoplight or stop sign. Be on the lookout for a male subject impersonating a police officer. It's a warning to all officers, this time looking out for someone pretending to be one of their own. The scanner sound off is the second time in just two days a police impersonator has been spotted in Mobile. One of the most significant serious public safety issues we can have. The serious and scary issue made it to light of day Saturday at the busy intersection of Government Street and Airport Boulevard. It's believed a man impersonating an officer boldly attempted to pull someone over around one this afternoon. White 2000 Chevrolet Silverado pickup truck. Vehicle will have tinted windows, mud on the tires. It will also have a blue strobe light on it. The incident and description is eerily familiar to the fatal shooting involving a police impersonator just one day earlier on Theodore Dawes. David Kyle was shot and killed and handcuffed by a person posing as an officer in a car bearing a real police license plate. With just two cases in two days, drivers are becoming skeptical about stopping when they see the lights. At this point, a little caution could save your life. Because I drive at night by myself, and that is scary. Scary, yeah, because I think I probably would have stopped too. And again, officials say they're looking for a vehicle similar to this one picture. That's a 2007 white Chevy Silverado with tinted windows, strobe lights, and mud tires. MPD would not say if the two cases are related. Live in the newsroom, Jasmine Williams, Local 15 News. Scary.